Hello there, and welcome to the game that just loves to crash every time I tab out of it and go into OBS. Uh, welcome to Slay the Spire. So, I have reached Ascension level 20 with all the characters, so I've been doing a little bit of achievement hunting and you know trying to get all the achievements in the game and whatnot and that means i've been experimenting a lot with combos uh i'm doing them all at the lowest ascension level like turned off ascensions entirely just because that's the easiest way to get combos and learn combos and all that good stuff uh because I'm not expecting to get like an infinite combo on Ascension level 20 Ironclad. Uh, but yeah, so I got a really cool combo to show off right now. And this is with the Silent. I did actually achieve an infinite combo earlier. Uh, hang on, I wonder if I can show you... Yeah, here we go. So, on, with the Ironclad... That's not right at all. What the fuck? Okay, this is not in any way updated. Hopefully this will be updated, though. Yes, it is! Awesome! Okay, so, for whatever reason, the, that run history isn't updated. Um, but I did get an, uh, infinite combo with the Ironclad, where I successfully had a deck of five cards or less. Anyway, um, but here's a fun little combo deck that I just wanted to show off that I got with the Silent. And I saved right before the final boss, we've got Donu and Dekka. Uh, as you can see, I've got, like, some potions stored up and whatnot. That's, none of that is gonna matter. So, how does this combo work? Well, first we backflip, and then we grand finale. And then we can neutralize, although these guys have artifacts, so that doesn't really matter. Then we draw, and then we draw some more. Let's discard Flying Knee. We're not going to need that card. And oh, look at that. We can already play Grand Finale again. Wonderful. And uh, now, maybe we can neutralize again. Play escape plan. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's backflip. Neutralize. Heel hook. Oh, look at that. There's another grand finale. That's grand finale number three, I think. Uh, we're not done yet, though. Let's acrobatics. Discard flying neat. Nah, let's just discard. Corpse explosion, actually. Yeah. Uh, goodbye, flying knee strike. Um, let's just... Hang on, this is gonna be... Yep, grand finale. So... I guess we'll heal hook into that. Play grand finale. And... Neutralize. This is not an infinite combo, like, it can, uh, if you don't have enough energy, like, you will run out of card, like, you'll run out of energy and card draw and stuff, but it's a really good combo regardless. Uh, anyway... Now that I've got the keys, and I've showed you that I can beat Donu and Dekka on turn one, 
Uh, let's head over here. Let's upgrade. It doesn't matter. Sure, let's upgrade corpse explosion. Uh, and we've got the shopkeeper. So the thing is, we don't want to add any more cards to our deck. Our deck is perfect as it is at nine cards. Uh, and same reason we don't want to remove any cards. Um, we could remove Flying Knee. The reason I don't want to remove any cards is because in our starting hand, uh, we're going to have seven cards thanks to Ring of Snake. And I can already empty out my entire deck with backflip and immediately play Grand Finale. So that's why I don't want to remove any cards. So let's move into the Spear and Shield. Um, there we go again. Like I said, we can just backflip into Grand Finale. And now let's just play a few cards. Neutralize, Escape Plan. Um, let's acrobatics, get rid of flying knee, grand finale number two, and now we can neutralize, heel hook, escape plan, backflip, grand finale number three. And if that wasn't enough, we got Sundial. So I think Sundial makes us infinite. Uh, yeah, we now have... Pretty much, yeah, this is, th this is gonna be infinite. Uh, might as well use the po poison on you, because why not? Um... So, let's see, heart. Let's start with a backflip, play grand finale, and then we can neutralize, heal hook, uh, escape plan, neutralize, acrobatics, get rid of corpse explosion, and there's a grand finale. Now the heart is designed to where you cannot kill it with an infinite combo. Uh, but that's fine. I do not mind. So let's play that. Then we can backflip. Grand finale again. Neutralize. Escape plan. Neutralize... Acrobatics... Discard Survivor... Play Heal Hook... Grand Finale... And... You know what? Corp Explosion. So, now this guy is at... Uh, there we go. Now this guy is invincible. I can no longer hurt him, so we will just end our turn there. And now he's going to throw a bunch of these into our deck, which is going to be super annoying. But luckily, I picked up a med kit early on, so we can just get all of these out of here. These two will exhaust on their own, but might as well exhaust them now. Alright, we took a little bit of damage, but it's fine. Uh, now, what we do is we acrobatics, discard corpse explosion, and oh look, grand finale. And then we can... 
heal hook. Neutralize. Escape plan. We're actually kind of at the point where we overdrew. But there we go. Backflip can... I mean, acrobatics can fix that for us. But might as well play these as well. Alright, now we acrobatics. Get rid of... Doesn't really matter. Let's get rid of Corpse Explosion. Play Grand Finale again. Heal Hook. Neutralize. Uh, backflip. Because now we can Grand Finale again. Escape Plan. Um, acrobatics. Get rid of Corpse Explosion. Grand Finale again. Uh, heal Hook. Backflip. Grand Finale. Um... Hmm... Neutralize. Escape plan. Acrobatics. Goodbye corpse explosion. And grand finale. Uh, now he's invincible, so let's just turtle up as best we can. Uh, yeah, just play every block card that we have access to. And why not? Corpse explosion again. I guess I could have, uh, flying knee struck and gotten an extra energy that turn. But it doesn't matter too much, because here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna escape plan, and then heal hook, and then backflip, and grand finale. And then... Neutralize. Acrobatics. Get rid of Survivor. Escape plan to draw that last card, and we win with Grand Finale. And there you have it, that's the deck. Uh, didn't even need to use any, either of my two potions. We have slain the heart with our combo deck. Uh, and don't worry, as usual, I will be sharing the seed and everything in the description below, and also later on. Um, here's our final score. And, <laughs> god, this, this combo really knocks your socks off. It, oh my god, yes. Uh, yeah, so Niao, you can sleep. Um, because I successfully slayed the Spire. So, let me go over that deck with you. Here we go. Silent. Only have nine cards. Here's kind of a rundown of everything I did. Uh, here's all the relics I had. So... The, del the deck is pretty self-explanatory. I don't need to really get into what the deck does. Like, uh, you just kind of draw until your deck is empty, which is very easy to do because you have so few cards in the first place. And then you grand finale for as many times as you can. Which is usually enough. Uh, this run, I successfully killed the Transient. I don't remember... I actually wasn't paying attention uh, there at the very end if uh, the Transient tells you... Um, 
or like if you get special bonus points for killing the transient but yeah this was for killing the transient i was able to do that it wasn't infinite uh, i did have to take a couple turns to do so but it's still i was able to kill it before it went away uh yeah here's the relics i'm kind of working with so ring of snake was kind of really important uh mercury hourglass is just nice to have it adds up damage if for whatever reason you're not killing which you should be uh smiling mask this one we could not have gotten this far without smiling mask it's kind of essential if you're doing these combo decks because you need to remove as many cards as you can and the merchant is going to be increasing his cost every single time you remove a card so making card removal always cost 50 is nice uh ornithopter didn't really need that one ancient tea set was nice to have pandora's box i can't remember what we got off of pandora's box does it tell you um not actually sure uh i think it gave us flying knee and did it give us escape plan or was that one i took myself uh i know it gave me corpse corpse explosion though um, but yeah, so I took Pandora's box, that gave me some stuff to work with. Uh, medical kit is really, really useful, because if you're playing an infinite deck like this, status cards are your bane, and you want to get rid of status cards, so medical kit is just really, really useful to have. Um, pair is pair. Pen nib, you saw proc, I think, quite a few times in that run, actually. Uh, yeah, it's just kind of really nice to have, especially if you can, um, because there's so few attacks in the deck, you can really just, uh, If you line things up the right way, you can make sure that the card that gets the nib is Grand Finale. Uh, the boot, just kind of nice to have. Hovering Kite uh, is really useful um, thanks to Acrobatics. Uh, discarding one card and getting a free energy off of that is, yeah, just really nice. Tungsten Rod, just outstanding. Uh, Ceramic Fish was more towards the late game when I got this one, but it still really helped with me removing unnecessary cards. Again, thanks to Smiling Mask. Vajra is Vajra. Uh, Strawberry. Kunai, you saw there against the heart, I think we ended with like nine dexterity or something like that it's not essential in any means but with combo decks they're really nice to have these cards that uh these relics that give you bonus stuff whenever you like play a bunch of attacks in a single turn and sundial you saw we actually got there off of the penultimate elite fight um or the ultimate elite fight i guess i should say uh that one kind of ensured that we could go infinite because we were going through our draw pile so many times that we would just gain more energy than we knew what to do with so yeah uh there's the deck up here in the corner you can see the seed um, I will also be 
posting the seed in the comments uh, or the description check there uh, you can find the seed and this was on no ascension I turned off the ascension so uh, but if you want to have fun with this fun combo deck uh, yeah, here's the seed. Give it a try. I highly recommend it. I had so much fun playing this, and I had to wait, like, what, five hours before I could finish this run? Because I wanted to show it off to you guys. So, I hope you appreciated it. So, yeah, um... Expect more Slay the Spire content this year. Uh, whenever I get crazy runs like this, I might consider showing them off. And yeah, there's just lots of different things, you know. Uh, I'm also expecting at some point I do want to do like kill the heart on ascension level 20 with all of these guys because I now have the capacity to do so um, but maybe not the skill but thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed and if you want to support me like comment and subscribe as per the usual YouTube stuff uh, hit the bell notification if you want to get more notifications whenever I post more stuff uh, you can also find my card down in the description which takes you to all my socials including twitch uh, where you can subscribe to me uh, and support me there or you can also leave a tip through stream elements both those are great ways to support me financially and I've also got a few other things too I've got a discord server and all the like so thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video bye bye